वेलकम टू सुपर मनी इन लाइफ वी ऑल अर्न मनी वी ऑल सेव मनी वी ऑल इन्वेस्ट वी ऑल बाई प्रोटेक्शन ऑल दिस वी डू द क्वेश्चन इज इन वॉट कॉन्स इन वॉट सीक्वेंस शुड वन डू इट नो दिस इज मेंट फॉर अ बॉय और गर्ल हु इज इन और हर लेट टीन्स और अर्ली ट्वेंटीज हाउ शुड दे गो अबाउट डूइंग इट Again, this is not for the uh, very poor, nor is it for the very rich. The very rich can do whatever they want. I mean, they can start investing hundred percent of their money in equity, and nothing will go wrong with them. So, what should a middle class person do, especially if they have not invested in equities at all as a family, or invested some uh, mutual fund, or maybe one of uh, some ULIP policy or something, and they have not even seen what has happened? This is not called investing. This is the one time some activity which they have done. I wouldn't call them investors. Investors means those who buy and sell regularly, do SIPs, etc. I would call them investors. assuming you are not from an investing family what should be the sequence of doing things first of all it has to be safety right so if your parents are dependent on you if you have a younger brother sister grandfather somebody dependent on you the first thing you should do is get uh, adequate medical insurance for everybody that is your step one because one thing going wrong there can pull you um, can push you into poverty right so i keep saying this um narendra modi sending food grains to so many people uh, is just to make sure that they don't slip back into poverty because you are at uh, po- you are at uh, sub poverty level you are suddenly pulled out of poverty just one um health care scare or uh, one famine or something can push you back into poverty so uh, sending food grains to everybody giving ayushman bharat uh, health support to people all that make sure that they don't slip back into poverty maybe they need it for 5 years maybe they need it for 6 years i'm not getting into that i'm not getting into the uh, politics of it also so i'm saying first thing get medical insurance for everybody get a term insurance for yourself because if so many people are dependent on you uh, and you are earning then it is important for you to get adequate term insurance how much it is you sit and calculate it has to may be sure that it pays for your uh, parents retirement grandparents um, uh, health the funeral cost your younger brother sisters education because you are the earning member others are not earning maybe your father has retired is not earning he doesn't have too much of a corpus so first thing is getting medical insurance second thing is to get term insurance and third thing is to create a emergency fund this emergency fund should be able to meet all these contingencies so presumably it won't happen at the same time sequentially if it happens you are, and you've spent that money then you have to replenish it let's say you needed a 6 lakh uh, emergency fund so you created 6 lakh emergency fund uh, now you have to withdraw 1 lakh from that then out of your current income you have to put another 1 lakh into it and uh, top it up and make it 6 lakhs or 8 lakhs whatever is the appropriate amount so medical insurance term insurance uh, emergency fund these are three two three things which are completely uh, non negotiable which you have to do before you start investing in equities so i would even think that when you go and start uh, investing in equities somebody should ask you have you done these three uh only if you have done these three should you even be coming into equity how you come into equity uh, well people come in and do fndo and uh, our regulator calls them uh, investors these are not investors these are speculators so first of all understand the difference between a investor and a speculator and investor has a longer term frame so uh, time frame uh, so what happens is uh, in case something happens uh, and the market falls he's got the ability or she's got the ability to sit through it and will continue to do the sip immaterial of what happens to the market maybe 2 years 3 years market doesn't do anything but will stick and soldier on uh, hoping that when the market revives uh, he or she has got enough units for that um, uh, rise in market to make sense you have to have enough units for when the nav goes up if you don't have enough units then there is no purpose of uh, then there is no purpose of uh, investing right so uh, then uh, question is should you max out your ppf uh, 
maybe yes maybe no if you have been investing uh, 7 8 lakhs then maybe if you are investing 2 lakhs maybe not again it depends on circumstances to circumstance because when you are 22 years of age or 23 years of age you put 1 and a half lakhs in ppf you will have nothing left for investing if that is happening then cut down your uh, ppf to 15000 and uh, put 1 lakh 35000 as a 10000 rupee sip in a, maybe in a uh, elss fund right so we don't even know if the minute you shift to the new method of taxation there is no atc so maybe the purpose of saving or investing if it is something else it is different but if it is just taxation oriented you have to rethink about that right so safety getting your uh, provident fund etc ppf in place another very important thing is you start educating your family about how equity returns are coming because in six months if you uh, double your money or something your mother will think you're a genius and she'll tell your father see how smart he is um, this is what happens you never invested in equities etc etc but six months later she could be saying at least if you had put it in ppf you wouldn't have lost so much right all these things will happen how ready is your family for this or will your family say no nothing more you've lost enough now remove everything and put it into debt instruments that could be the worst thing for you to happen but if you are being controlled by somebody else who uh, uh, talks the narratives and can pull you down then be careful then uh, don't invest in equities or invest a small amount in equities maybe 5000 rupees per, per month is the is what you should put even though your cash flow allows you to put 25000 per month right so then find out slowly what is happening understand explain to your family which could be your parents and uh, even your uh, spouse at some stage make sure everybody around understands that equity money is good it's fun uh, you can remove it to make a trip to Europe, but it is not something on which you should depend if there is a medical emergency. That basics you should know. So, you've got your emergency fund, you've got your term insurance, you've got your uh, medical insurance. Then what should you do is you have started your SIP. Um, at this stage, if you have um, borrowed money to do something, you borrowed money to buy a house, to buy a car, to buy... Uh, to for to go on a vacation to get married to go on a honeymoon then your first step is not even investing it is to pay off the high cost debt all these costs all these debts are high cost of course the cheapest one would be a home loan which you have taken so just stick to that everything else you have to get rid of right so get rid of it now also get yourself adequate term insurance now to make sure that all the loans are repaid uh, including the housing loan plus it pays for your parental uh, retirement for uh, your, your younger brother sisters may have qualified by now so whatever are your expenses make sure everything is covered by your uh, term insurance because your situation uh, uh, has changed right keep some money uh, obviously you have your emergency fund uh, so that's that is the uh, i mean the emergency fund is already there also you must have now slowly start building some equity in your housing uh, thing you will be able to borrow get yourself credit cards get yourself one, at least one credit card with a good limit so that in case somebody has to be admitted in hospital you can use the credit card which is perhaps more useful than a debit card because your debit card will uh, on your transactions only money is already there in your bank whereas your credit card will uh, do better <coughs> so you could admit somebody in hospital uh, parent grandparent neighbor friend whatever without worrying too much because next day you can go take their money pay in there and cancel your uh, slip so therefore you should have a credit card you should not have too much of credit and even your credit card you should uh, uh, pay off every month right the minute you get a bill just go and pay it off don't wait for the last day and things like that that might actually be hurtful pay off for everything else and uh, should you now start maxing up your uh, ppf yes uh, <coughs> should you put my adequate money in your own pf yes uh, i mean consider the taxation if the amount is too high you're being taxed etc etc be careful about that now you can also start making your down payment for your house you, you may, maybe already have a house, housing loan maybe you want to buy a bigger house maybe your um, children's education children's uh, college fund it's, it makes a lot of sense from a taxation point of view to have some money in children's name rather than all the money in your name <coughs> debt instruments in your parents name so that they uh, assuming that they don't have uh, too much of tax or definitely lesser tax than what you have 
right so sit with a tax consultant see how to uh, plan your taxes how to plan your investments this is a good stage to be doing this maybe you're 33 34 by this time and uh, you understand your responsibilities you have a two-year-old kid um, this is also a time when if you have a down uh, I mean you have a make a good amount of money in equities you bought some share for 4 lakhs it has now grown to 24 lakhs in one year or two years it's a great time to be removing it paying the capital gains tax and taking a good quality vacation with your family because equity money is to be enjoyed also so you should not be removing equity money from position of stress but uh, removing equity money from a position of comfort and enjoying it is very is really going to be very useful i think i'm done so equities don't try to copy it won't work what work for me may not work for you if it does work for you well and good if it does not work for you uh, bad luck maybe your learning was wrong it has worked for me i can only tell you parts of my journey or my whole journey it doesn't really matter how to use it how to interpret it how to act on it is all yours thank you